Good morning, everybody. It's Jolene Fisher here. We have our HIT 4x4 workout today. We're going to be in zone 3-4 training, so you're going to need your watch to make sure that your heart rate is staying up pretty high. Also, you're going to be able to feel it. So if you can't really talk throughout the workout or you're feeling pretty, pretty tired, then you're in the right zone. We have one dumbbell we're using today for our second round. We've got four rounds of four minutes coming up. So four minutes of hard work followed by three minutes of rest times four more. Okay, so total of four by four. All right, in the first round, we're gonna be doing six high knee runs to lunge five times. So we're gonna be going one, two, three, four, five, six. Pop that back into a lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lunge each side. And we're gonna count to five. After that, we're gonna do four bunny hops. Two, three, and four, right into a burpee. And jump it up, back down into four bunny hops. We're gonna do that five a total times as well. Then we're gonna get down into a crab position, like we're gonna do a crab walk, but we're not crab walking. We're actually just gonna be jumping those feet up. We're gonna count a total of 16 kicks in the air. Then we're gonna turn it around for a cross body mountain climber for 20 knees. We're gonna then go onto our belly for 20 swimmers. Then back to the top with the six high knee runs into lunge. All right, if you guys wanna keep up with me the whole time, I'll be counting everything out. It's okay if you can't keep up, you just do what you have to do to get through the four minutes and you make modifications as necessary. Cause you may not be able to do everything I do, and that's okay, just stay high intensity if you can. All right, we're gonna start our watches. All right, we're gonna start with a warm up. So let's just start with a jog. We've got two minutes, a little over two minutes for our warm up before we get started. Let's turn this into some hamstring pullbacks. All right, take it on the move with grapevine. All right, let's go back to center. Stretch it out in a deep sumo squat, side to side reach. Sweep those arms down, hang out here for a little. All right, we're gonna come on up. Whew. We're getting started in 22 seconds. Let's just jog it out. We're gonna start with those six high knee runs into lunge. When you lunge, make sure that knee stays behind the toe so that you step back far enough, drop down, and making sure, okay? We're going in three, two, one, six high knees. When you're done with that, lunge. Then lunge, back to six high knees. Lunge and lunge. We're on set two, or set three now. That's the end of set four, one more. We're going into four bunny hops. Right into a burpee. 
Four bunny hops. Burpee. Five three. Last one. Woo. Crab kicks. We've got sixteen of those. Turn it over for mountain climbers for 20. Cross body. Right into swimmers. Back to the top. Six high knee runs into lunge. One more. Right into our bunny hops. Burpee. Last one. Whew. Right into crab kicks for 16. Turn it around for mountain climbers. Swimmers for 20. Back to the top, six high knee runs, into lunge. Last one. And time. Whew. Nice work, you guys. Three minute break. Heart rate's coming down. Round two coming up. We're gonna do 10 pop squats. We're jumping out, touching the ground. In, out, total of 10 of those. Then we're gonna do ladder hops. We're in plank, both feet stay together. We're jumping side to side. For a total of 20, or 10 each side. Then we're gonna get up for a fast beat. We're gonna count to 50. Then you're gonna need your little weight here. We'll do 20 Russian twists, hip to hip, feet off the ground if you can. Then we're gonna flip it around for a plank into squat for a total of 10. All right. 
a minute 30 left in our rest. Under a minute. Each subsequent round, you guys might find your heart rate increasing a little bit. That's normal. So I get, well, that's why I give you a nice long break in between. Pop squats coming up in 10. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Pop squats. All right, get into a plank. We're ladder hopping right to left, feet together. All right, when you're done with that, fast feet for 50. Right into Russian twist for 20. Plank to squat for 10. All right, pop squats. Right into your ladder hops. Fast beat for 50. Russian twist for 20. Plank to squat. Back to the top, we're under a minute. Ladder hops for 20.
Big feet. And time. Nice job, you guys. Whew. Two rounds down. All right, we're halfway there, which means we go into back to round one. Heart rate still at 151. <laughs> All right, remember in round one, we're doing six high knees to lunge, right into our four bunny hops to burpees for five rounds. Crab walk kick ups for 16, cross body mountain climber into swimmer. If those bunny hops are bothering your knees, you guys should just do a squat to, to burpee. So I just do an air squat into a burpee and just do as many as you can until I'm done with the five rounds. A minute 20 left in your rest. All right, 30 seconds left. I don't know which round is harder. They're both equally hard. <laughs> I think those bunny hops are a killer though. All right, guys, we're going into five. Three, two, one, let's go. Right into your lunge. This is set four, last one. Okay, right into your bunny hops. Burpee. Last one. Right into crab kicks. Turn it around for mountain climber, cross body for 20. Right into swimmers for 20. Back to the top. Okay. 
Last set, three. Last four. Right into bunny hops. Right into crab kicks. Mountain climber. Swimmers. Back to the top, six runs, into four lunge, or two lunge, sorry. Bunny hops if you're able. And you're done. <laughs> nice job. Last round coming up. All right, got up there. That six high knee to lunge, a bunny hop to burpee. Ooh, that's a killer. Okay, we got pop squats coming up. 10 into our ladder hop side to side. Fast feet for 50, Russian twist for 20, plank to squat for 10. A minute 27 still, and our rest. Whew. I don't know about you, but I need it. My heart rate's still at 137. Hopefully you guys got a good night of sleep last night because sometimes that'll affect your heart rate the next day. Especially if your heart rate during the night did not go down very much. So you need your resting heart rate to drop at night for better recovery. I did not look at my aura data this morning, but I'm guessing my sleep wasn't so good last night since I felt, felt like I was tossing and turning a lot. I can tell from how I'm feeling the workout today. Higher heart rates than normal means not as good of recovery last night. So we got one more. 
Let's muscle through it, guys. It's coming up. And three, two, one. Pop squats. Ladder hops for 20. Right into your fast feet. Russian twists for 20. All right, plank to squat for 10. Ladder hops. Quick beat. Russian twist. Whew. Plank to squat. Under a minute. Pop squats. Ladder hops. Not so quick. <laughs> We're going to finish it out here. And time. Whew. Nice job, everyone. That was a rough round. Thankfully, we ended with that one. I officially think round one is harder. <laughs> All right, we're going to cool it down. Go grab your foam roller. We'll start on our booty. Bringing our butt back onto the floor. Hamstrings over top of the foam roller. 
in that reverse plank. Let's go back and forth. Our fascia and muscles are nice and warm. This makes it the perfect time to stretch. Don't shut off the video at this point. You guys need to make time for this or you will get really tight and you're not gonna like that feeling. All right, could lead to injury too. Okay, come onto your quads. Put the foam roller right underneath the quads. We're gonna be in plank position over top of the foam roller, rolling those quads up and down. I like think one of the reasons why I don't succumb to injury is because I wear new shoes about every four to six months or change out my shoes frequently. And we take the time to stretch after every workout. I also eat about 160 grams of protein a day. One thing I could do better on is water. Well, that's on my habits, daily habits score sheet. So definitely something I look at every day and achieve, try to achieve. Oh, that feels so good. Huh. Okay, let's flip it around. We're gonna be on our back. Let's roll down onto that low back. Use your heels to propel yourself forward and backward. Go up as far as your shoulder blades and all the way down. Okay, let's rest that uh, foam roller on our shoulder blade. Interlacing the fingers behind our head, put your booty on the floor. And then rest your head back into your hands, opening up at the elbows. Deep breaths here. All right, come on up. Let's get on that right glute. So on your right booty, cross your left leg over. We're gonna go up and down that right glute. You're supporting yourself with your right foot and your right hand. I use the heel of my right foot to kind of propel myself up and down. All right, we're gonna roll all the way over onto our right side. We're gonna be in a two inch area above the big femur bone. So a soft spot right below the hip, top hip bone and the bottom hip bone. This is the tensor fascia lata. It's the muscle that attaches to the IT band. All right, we're gonna put my other hand on the ground now. We're gonna come up and over that big femur bone, get onto the IT band. So my right leg is nice and straight. IT band is flat against that foam roller. So we roll up and down. Might not be very uh, comfortable. Ow. Okay, let's do the other side. We're gonna be on that left glute. 
at a 45 degree angle. Roll up and down. All right, let's turn it over. We're on that tensor fasciolata, that two inch area above the big femur bone, just below the hip bone up top. All right, come all the way up onto the IT band. Up and down. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for joining me on this really hard, high intensity interval training day. <laughs> that was a good workout. All right, I will see you guys here tomorrow for core cardio. So a little bit more cardio involved, higher heart rates as well on Tuesdays, but we're gonna incorporate more of the core. So I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great Monday, everyone. Bye.